Greetings YouTube, Jables here, yet again, coming at you with a new deck profile. I've been working on a junk doppel deck variant of it. There's many, many variants, uh, and I'm new to the junk doppel, so I know a lot of you hardcore players out there will probably not like this, uh, because I probably don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but this is the build that I currently have, I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there for a video uh, it's, it's, lo it's loosely based off of Yu-Gi-Oh! for Real Men. Absolutely love his builds, love his videos. So a big shout out to him for the inspiration behind this. I wish he'd make a new video on it because uh, this is, I had to go off of his old build. Uh, but it changed a few things, so it's not 100% copycatted. So let's get right into this. So for the three quick draw synchrons. The three junk synchrons. Two Synchron Explorers. Two Unknown Synchrons. I was trying one Unknown Synchron, one Mono Synchron. Uh, but then I realized that there were so many times where I just wanted a level 1 tuner. And uh, Mono Synchron could only go for Formula. Because it turned everything that you synchroed with into a level 1. So you can make Formula. And at first that was kind of cool. But then um, there's so many other times where I just wanted to go for different plays. So bump this up to 2. Uh... That's it for the Synchron part of the deck. Now, three Cobalts. Uh, I really like three Cobalts. Two Level Eaters. Uh, level Eaters are just incredible. That little manipulation and so on. Two Doppel Warriors. One Dandelion. This is the only plant in here. I don't run the plant engine. One Tuning Wear. Uh, I actually really like Tuning Wear. It just adds more draw power to the deck. Uh, and draw power in this deck is... Uh, Pretty, pretty good. One effect veiler. If I had more than one effect veiler, I'd probably run this it more. Uh, effect veiler is just really good, really versatile in this deck because you can use it for the. You actually use the tuner part as well. And then last monster is one to scarecrow for the drill warrior loop. If you get drill warrior in this and just keep looping the scarecrow and eventually attack them directly with 1200 per game. Uh, that is it for the monster lineup, but that's 21 monsters. Uh, for spells, if we go ahead and get this out of the way, I run 3 Supply Squad, like I said, loosely based off Yu-Gi-Oh! for Roman's deck. Uh, I really like this deck, or this card in the deck. Uh, some people don't, but if you watched this video, it was a constant stream of Level Eater, uh, Special Summon off of Drill Warrior for defense, hit this, get a draws, uh, then, le then the Drill Warrior comes back, so you know... Uh, and this is also good when you're under Reckless. It's almost like if your opponent does a play and tries to push, then you get draws. And even if you're stuck under Reckless, it's not so bad. Uh, that's three tunings. Got the common tunings. And then one Rota. Uh, I tested this out when I first built the deck with three Rotas. And it was just way, way too much. Uh, there's only... Five targets, three of those targets, which can be started out with tuning. Uh, so I, I mainly use reinforcement of the army for to get Doppel Warrior, and just a few in the few t matches that I've tested this with, uh, I've only got Junk Synchron a couple of times with this. Uh, but most of the time, this this deck runs a obscene amount of draw power. So most of the time, I draw into what I need before I even need this. Uh, but if I open it or this, it's, you know, it's good. So I only run it to one, to save space for other things. Uh, one, one for one. Foolish. Uh, desynchro, I really like desynchro in this. By uh, desynchro, when you, when you use unknown synchron with tuning wear, while Hyperlar Brain is on the field, you get three draws. Desynchro, synchro again, get three more draws. It's, it's crazy draw power. Uh, the one soul charge. And then the three obscure... Uh, upstart goblins. That's it for the spell lineup. Uh, for traps, it's very minimal traps. Two call the haunteds and uh, three reckless greeds. Uh, I made it the main deck just to go off. I want it to go off as consistently as possible, as fast as possible. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the best at this. I will admit that. Uh, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever played junk doppel, and I'm just. Going off 
going off builds that I, I see online, uh, look at many, many different builds, talk to people, see what they like in it, and just kind of molding it all together into my play style. Uh, so don't criticize me too hard if I didn't build this right or play right, because I'm still in the building process. Uh, so we're on the extra deck. Uh, Quasar, Shooting Star, uh, Mad Max, Junk Destroyer, Stardust, Natural War. I'll probably take him out because I haven't gone for him yet. Uh, Junk Archer, this one's amazing. Two Drill Warriors, probably the best Synchro in the extra deck. Uh, Librarian, Junk Warrior, Samsara. I, I really like Samsara actually because it puts pressure on your opponent whenever you summon it. Like, if you don't have like a big like a really really big play or if it's late game you summon this and you have supply squads out you'll get draws and special summons to go off next turn so you know it's it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent and they have to plan out their plan out their strategy a little bit more uh, one army arm and two formulas uh, three would be too many because you have extra deck space is really tight and I'm still working on it and then tokens so that's the deck. I don't have a side deck just yet. Uh, I'm still in the just testing phase. Just playing this deck for fun, really. That's really what I want it for, just because it's like, this is an incredibly fun deck to play. And, uh, but if I were to build a side deck, it'd be mostly for back row hate. You, you have to side against certain things, such as Evil Swarm, because if Ophion just would utterly fuck this deck, so you have to side for that. You have to side for Vanity, since it's everywhere now. Uh, I'm not really taking this as a competitive deck, so... I'm just using it for fun, and this is what I have right now. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the deck profile. I uh, hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and thank you for all the support. We're at 254 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you all so much. Uh, here soon, I'm working on UAs. I got the deck. I'm just I'm just getting down the details of the UA deck. I absolutely love that deck. Uh, when I go to Locals next week, I may finish it. I may play it at Locals. Uh, I may get a deck profile on there, so I'll have to see on that. I uh, also have Sam, our teammate, who has a junk doppel deck of his own. We had several mirror matches today, and my build only lost one game out of three matches. So out of six six games, I lost one match against his junk doppel deck, but he's he's still in the testing stage as well. Uh, he goes for a completely different build, or not completely. He goes for the plant doppel deck, I guess is what it is. Like I said, I don't know this deck that well. It's the first time I've played it. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll try to get those deck profiles and see what else we can get. Until next time, thanks for watching. Jables out.